Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up the Sedona ant farm. And uh, first you want something to catch the sand. You don't want to make a mess. Newspaper, towel, doesn't matter. Uh, you need a Phillips screwdriver and you set the ant farm there. You take the uh, screw out from each side. We're going to take the top off. Doesn't have to come all the way out, just enough to get the top off. And this just pops off like so. Sit it down. Take a, you'll get two bags of sand. Shake it down all at once. Grab some scissors. Try to even it out a little bit so it distributes real good. Tamp it down, to even it out. And uh, you, you might need the other the whole bag or just half of another bag, but you want to get the sand even with the the ground level of the uh, of the diorama. And again, just kind of watch what you're doing. You don't want to overfill it. That might be enough. And again, tamp it down, even it out a little bit. That should be enough. Now, you're gonna need to uh, take the pipette, a little shot of water, and get about five, uh, pipette full of uh, water and distribute the water. This is so the ants, the tunnels will hold up when the ants dig so it won't collapse on them. That's the purpose of this. That was round five, right? Now you want to take the sponge and just kind of clean the glass off real good. Get all the dust and dirt off so you can see the ants. Nice and clean. You probably want to clean the background too. That'll be good. Now, take the one end of the sponge and make little holes. This is to get the tunnel started for the ants. Okay, when you get your ants, you want to put them in the refrigerator, the refrigerator, not the freezer, for at least 10 minutes. This is to slow them down, kind of, uh, so they won't run all over the place. They're easier to handle. You want to uh, take the tape off. You gotta kind of work quickly because the ants work. They come alive pretty quick. Kind of shake them out of the mesh, they'll just fall out. Now, kind of tap them to one side here. Don't be scared, they're, in, they're, not, they're pretty tough. If you need be, take the uh, end of the sponge and kind of get them all over to the one side. If they're moving around still, 
put them back in the refrigerator for a few more minutes. Now you just dump them in. You want to put the top back on. Make sure you line the grooves up in the, with the glass. Gently. Take your Phillips screwdriver, screw back in. We have two access ports on top that you use to uh, feed the ants. Just take one out. Get the ant seeds. Don't pour them all, just enough, just a little bit. That should be enough. Make sure you put the cap back. And you put a few drops of uh, ant quench. Uh, this is like a sweetener, an energizer for the ants. Just once a week. And if you got bugs or anything that you want to take from outside, use your tweezers. Open the cap and put them in there. Moss or anything like grasshoppers, crickets. Do not put the ant farm in direct sunlight or direct cold drafts or anything like that. Uh, you probably want to cover it with a black cloth until the ants get going for like two days just to calm them down. And then they'll be digging, digging tunnels. Thank you for purchasing my ant farm. I appreciate a five-star Google review. If you have any questions, please contact us through the website. I hope you enjoy your ant farm.